Hello and welcome to Shadow Gaming. This is the part two in the series of how to make the Division 2's gear sets better. So today I'm doing the solo player build. It's called Path of the Nomad. Now this one's perfect for solo players and they should have added it into the Division 2. Something similar to that. You get 15% health on kill for two piece. Three piece you get Nomad's Resolve. So you get a constant small amount of healing. So there's healing that doesn't require a skill or med kit or armor kit right there. And then for a four piece set, you have Path of the Nomad. When receiving fatal damage, you're instead healed to full health. You're instantly revived. It can happen every four minutes. But they add it even better on the sixth one. Set number five, you have 10% health on kill. So that gives you 25% health on kill. And that's not even including the health on kill you might have on the six pieces of gear. And then set number six is Nomad's Luck. So this just adds to the Path of the Nomad. It gives you a 50% chance to have no cooldown for Path of the Nomad when playing solo. It takes 60% less damage for 10 seconds after it is triggered. So it's kind of like a survival link and instant resurrection. And you know it's active when that little green icon under the G where the grenades are is you know it's activated i'm playing with the house and lightweight m4 the lightweight m4 was the meta i mean they didn't balance assault rifles correctly so this was basically the only viable weapon in the assault ri rifle category even for an exotic with 22 uh, 000 base damage and then you got 850 rpm at base with 46 from mods and then you got 64 in the mag just from mods and you got unforgiving increase your damage by 10% for one missing health segment and two for 25% responsive which is just like um, close and personal except for it's, uh, instead of seven meters it's 10 meters so it gives you a little bit of breathing room and then determined killing a target reduces all skill cooldowns by seven and a half percent that one is really good as well for the house, it's the best submachine gun. You got 22.4 thousand base damage, and then you got 850 RPM plus the 47 from mods, and another 64 rounds. And same talents here, except for card counter. One half of the magazine does 20% increased damage. The half which deals increased damage flips after 15 seconds or when the magazine is empty. So you just switch back and forth or reload and hope that you land on the right card that does that. And this was back when extended magazines, the mods, had three minor attributes to them. And you crafted them and picked them up and, you know, you got your main attribute, which is the magazine size. And then you got reload speed and rate of fire. There was no negatives to the mods. You had the 18% critical hit damage, 5% optimal range, 3% critical hit chance. I mean, look at all these major or minor attributes just from three, four mods. It was really good. But this gear set is amazing, and I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. It's perfect for the solo player, and they definitely should add something like this into the Division 2. Especially all these other gear sets like Sentry's Call, Tactician's Authority, Striker, Predator's Mark, where you're constantly applying bleed effects to them. Lone Star, which I just did a video on that you can watch after this. Um, there's all sorts of stuff that you can do. Deadeye and Sentry's Call are both marksman rifle ones. But for right here, you've got a fire firepower based nomad build, solo build. So I hope you like it. Subscribe, comment below on what you think about it and what you think the Division 2 could use some more um, improvements on. All right, guys. Agents, take care. I'm out.
Agent, if you can find the crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe.